Congratulations, Tanker. You've made it through the tutorial and have arrived in your garage. This is where you will prepare for battle, buy and sell tanks, outfit your vehicles with the appropriate weaponry, and complete many other very important tasks to assure that you'll be successful. But whatever you do at this point, do not push that battle button. The first thing we'll look at is the settings. This is where you can customize your battle screen so the controls fit you perfectly. We can also adjust the quality of the graphics, add visual effects to make the gameplay more visually appealing, and we can also set the parameters for optimal performance on your particular device. The next tab is very important to your gameplay. This is where you can really individualize the battle screen to your preferences. We're going to spend a little more time here after we check out the remaining two tabs. The markers tab sets how you want to see your teammates, the enemy, and tanks that have been destroyed within the game. As a beginner, I would recommend adding all the options so you learn tank identification, see hit points, and view other important identifiers. You can always come back later and change these to your preference. The other tab sets your volume control, event notifications from Wargaming, and most importantly activates the in-game mini-map, which must always be on. Now let's look in detail at the Touch Controls Editor. The controls will set how your game interface looks and feels. Don't worry if you don't get it right the first time, or if you feel like you need to make changes. We've all done it. The two most important areas here are the Auto Aim, which as a beginner should be set to Enabled, or With Button, and the Lookout area, which you should set to On and learn to use right from the start. Now let's go to the top of the screen, on the right hand side and hit the customize button to go set the look of our game interface. This is an actual screenshot of what our game interface looks like in World of Tanks Blitz. You can customize many of the features and the layout to your own specifications. The interface is separated into a left side panel and a right side panel. Activate by touching one of the icons within it. This will highlight the panel and allow you to edit. Note the items in red are not resizable, nor are they movable. Resizing or moving the icons within the panels is simple and can help you get the look and functionality of your interface exactly how you want it. Let's resize and move the joystick in the left hand panel and let's reposition the auto aim and the second fire button. On the right side, Let's resize the ammunition selector, and we'll resize and reposition our consumables selector. I also want to move my primary fire button and my binoculars, or sniper activator, so it's separated from my lookout area scroller. To resize any item, just remember to activate it by touching the icon, then sliding the icon size bar to the left or to the right until the icon is comfortable for you. Well tankers, that about completes Blitz Boot Camp Day Number 1, Setting Our Controls. I thank you for joining me, and I sure hope you learned a little something that can help you get up to speed and help you avoid many of the mistakes I made when I first started. Please feel free to ask any questions on the YouTube channel, subscribe to be notified when episodes of Blitz Boot Camp are launched, or reach out in the World of Tanks Blitz forums, which are invaluable resources of information, support, and a great way to make new friends and find clans or platoon mates. This is Grasshopper, signing off, committed to improving gameplay, one tanker at a time. <laughs>